Hello and welcome, my name is Bailey Moss, and in today's video, I'll be showing how to schedule and automate overdue invoice notifications with Documents Court Pack and Power Automate Flow. So first thing you're gonna do is open up Power Automate. From there, you're gonna to wanna to check, double check if you're in the correct environment. Once you've confirmed that, you're gonna to go to Create, and what we're gonna create is a scheduled cloud flow. So I'll go ahead and click Create Scheduled Cloud Flow, and I'll give this a name, and I'll just say, overdue invoice notification from there we want to set the start date and time so I'll go ahead and set this as today at 2 p.m. and then I want this to repeat every or once every week and I want it to repeat on Mondays only so from there hit create and so once you have your trigger you can also edit your trigger so I'm gonna go ahead and set something like time zone and advanced options so I'll go ahead and set this to East US Eastern time because that's that's my time zone out of Atlanta, Georgia. And then I'll go ahead and hide those options. Next, I'm gonna set up my first step, which is gonna be to retrieve um, the overdue invoices. So new step, and then we're gonna go to the Microsoft Dataverse connector and we're gonna do list rows. From there, we'll define the table. In this case, it's gonna be invoices and then show advanced options. And what we need to do is filter this. So in this case, I'm gonna use fetch, that way so I can create the filter in Dynamics using advanced find. So it is gonna be helpful to have Dynamics 365 up, which I do over here. And from there, I'm gonna create a new advanced find here really quick. And we'll start with look for, and we'll go to invoices. And then we need to set our filters. So the first filter I'm gonna set, and this is gonna be a simple query, I'm just gonna set status. So status and the due date filter. So I'll say status, I wanna only look at active invoices. And then I wanna look at invoices with a due date that is older than one day. So if the due date was yesterday, I want them to be sent a notification. So we'll go ahead and check the results just to see. So as you can see, it's only returned one invoice. So that's all the flow should run against for now. Um, but now to go ahead and grab that fetch, all you do is hit download fetch XML and we'll open that up and it's open on my other screen and we'll just copy that out, just that fetch XML right there and go back to the flow and place it in our fetch XML query. So now that should only return the results similarly to fetch with the attributes and filters that we've defined. All right. And once you've, uh, Gone ahead and added that fetch. We'll go ahead and rename this so that we know what it's retrieving. So we'll just say list overdue invoices. Now we'll add a new step, which is going to be creating the documents for the email notification. So we're going to go to Documents Core Pack. One prerequisite here is you do need a Documents Core Pack service so that you can connect it to Power Automate, um, which I'll list uh, knowledge base articles as well as a how to video on how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Documents Core Pack, and then we're going to go ahead and look for Create Document Job Sync. So we want to create this synchronously, and the first step here, which is a required field, is going to be the template name. Um, so this will be the email body that we're creating here. So it's going to be BM underscore invoice email body, and it's going to be overdue. Next, we'll need to define the entity ID, which is going to be the invoice. So we'll go ahead and add dynamically the invoice. And as you can see, it's automatically set it to apply to each. That way, so if there's more than one overdue invoice, it will apply these steps to each overdue invoice. The next required field is going to be the file type. So I want to generate this as HTML because it's going to be the email content. And then finally, I'll just rename this. So I'll say create email content. All right, now I'm going to add another action, which is going to be another create document synchronously step. So I'll just go to Documents Core Pack once more and look for the Create Document Sync. And this time we're going to be creating the invoice itself. That way, so you're creating an email and attaching the overdue invoice to it. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to, and we're going to do Invoice Standard for this. Next thing, Entity ID, once again, dynamic content. It's going to be the Invoice Unique Identifier. So this right here. And this time for the file type, we will set it as PDF. That way, so it's when it's attached, it'll set it as PDF. 
All right, and go ahead and rename that as well, and we'll say create invoice as PDF. All right, and then one more action. We'll go ahead and actually there's a few more actions. Now we're going to go ahead and create the email itself. This will be back to the Microsoft Dataverse connector. So we're just going to create a row. So add new row. And then we'll go to email message. Email messages there. And for that, we don't need to add any of these items. So we can leave this all blank. All you need to do is create the record itself. So I'll hide advanced options there. And now add a new action. And now we're going back to the documents core pack actions. This time what we're going to be doing is actually attaching the documents that we created above to this email record. And so we'll say attach document job to email. And all we need to define here is the document job. So we'll first grab the create email content. So I'll say document job. And this will be the email content. So document job ID. And now I just need the GUID of the email. So I'll just do email, unique identifier of the email activity. And then add the exact same option just for the invoice. So once again, documents core pack. And attach document job to email. And we'll, this time we'll grab the invoice document itself. And we'll say create invoice PDF document job ID, and then the email ID once again. All right, and then we have a final step. So we've created the email, we've attached the email content, which includes signature, attach the invoice, and finally what we'll do is send the email. So we'll go back to documents, which is also a documents core pack step. So we'll go to documents core pack. and go down to send email. What's nice about this is you can define the sender dynamically where it's set regarding the two. You can set CC or BCC, um, but in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and define the email to send. So that's gonna be that email message once more. Um, we're not, we'll go ahead and set the GUID of the email sender. In this case, it's gonna be a system user. So I'll just say the, and for this, I'll use the owner of the invoice record and owner value is what we're going to be using there. And next we're going to set where is this email set regarding. So I want this to be set to an invoice. So we'll go ahead and say to the invoice itself. So we'll say set this regarding an invoice and then we need that invoice uh, unique identifier. So there you go. You've got the email, email to send is the above email message. The sender is going to be the owner of the invoice the regarding is going to be set regarding to the invoice itself. Next, we'll set the two and we'll first define the schema name, which will be um, contact. So we'll set contact there. And then the two we'll look for customer is going to be the name. So customer value. And that's it. I missed renaming a few of these steps, but that's really the gist of it. So I'll go ahead and save and test that and then show you what it looks like when it's done. So, so the end result. Um, once we go back, so it's saved, and I'll go ahead and hit test, manually test this. All right, and it's obviously, I've triggered the recurrence, although now this would run weekly on Mondays at the set time. It's listing the overdue invoices, and now it's going through the apply to each step. So it's working through each of these, which is create email content, create invoices PDF, create email, attach to email, attach to email, and then send email. And as you can see, the invoice has, uh, the flow has run successfully. So if we go back into um, Dynamics, we should see that record under that invoice. So I'll go to Invoices, and this was sent, this is the only overdue, and go to Details, and we can see this is the overdue invoice notification that was just sent. So if I open up that record, you can see it's set the from as the owner of the record, the to as the customer, it's set the subject through the template, and fill in the email content, as well as attach the invoice as a PDF. Additionally, if we go into Outlook, I should have just received it, and there it is. So if we open that up, same thing. You can see it's brought in, this is all dynamic content, 
Um, and then we can also view the invoice itself. So if I open that up here, you can see it's filled in all that dynamically as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. My contact information along with link to our website and free trial information can be found in the description below. Additionally, I'll add a few blog articles as well as helpful videos. Um, if you have any questions regarding future use cases or pricing or service setup, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks.